we're looking at my home page on Canvas, and I want to add the announcements on it so that it appears below the contact information and above the schedule of topics. To get started, I'm going to click on the announcements for my course. I'll look for the RSS feed button, right click on it, and choose copy link address. Next, in a search engine, I'm going to go ahead and type in feed win. And I'll click on the link that comes up, RSS feed widget free from feed win. And I'll sign up. I'm going to use my Google account, but I could also use Facebook. And since I already have an account with Feedwin, it opens it up. And I'm going to choose Create Widget. Where it has the feed URL, I'm going to highlight it, right click, and paste uh, what I copied from my course RSS feed, and click the plus button. And you can already see the announcements appearing here to the right for my course. Looking at the settings, I'll keep the width of this box to responsive. Height, I'll set to 390. And scroll bar, I'll leave on, but auto scroll, I'm going to turn off. See, I'm not changing anything else here. For the feed title, I'll label it behavioral statistics. And for the main title link, I'm going to grab the link for my course announcements. Right click on it, choose copy link address, come back into Feedwind and right click and paste it for the main title link. I'm going to click on advanced settings and I'm going to close it and a new option appears, the header color. So I'm going to change my header color to blue. You can see that now that there's a header color blue for my announcements widget. For feed content, I'm going to set the maximal number of characters for the title to be 75 and for content to be 800. That's all I'm going to do there. So now I'm going to go ahead and save this widget. And it says I've saved it. And now I'm going to get code. And I'm going to click the link that says try this if it doesn't work. And I'm going to copy code by pressing the copy code button for this more simple iframe HTML. I'm going to go back to my course and click on the home page link. On the home page, I'm going to click the edit button. I'm going to put a row of X's where I want the announcements widget to appear. And now I'll switch over to the HTML editor. And I'm going to look for that row of X's. Here they are. I'm going to highlight them, right click, and paste. So I have a begin div and an end div on either side of this iframe HTML. So I'm going to go below that right here, I'm going to highlight everything else. Highlight it all, right click and cut, because my experience is when I uh, go back to Rich Content Editor, Canvas clears everything below this newly added iframe. Okay, now that I'm in the Rich Content Editor, I'm going to take this opportunity to make the uh, widget box bigger. I'm going to increase its size so that it is 650 by 650. Now that I've done that, I'll head back to the HTML editor and I will uh, change the height for the announcements widget to be 400. I'm going to keep the width the same because it's already set up in Feedwind to be mobile device responsive. Then I'm going to add at the end of this HTML and right click and say paste put back all the other prior HTML and click save. And here we go. We have the announcements just as we'd like them to appear and students can scroll through from the most recent announcements uh, to the oldest announcements. I hope this works well for you and your course.